opposite reaction. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Everyday I'm Mothering, and our 31 Days of Halloween STEM Activity Series. So today we are doing skeleton balloon races to learn all about Isaac Newton's third law of motion. To do this experiment, you will just need some type of clips to clip your balloons, two straws or however many balloons you'll have, some string, then obviously some balloons, whatever colors you would like, some tape, and then something if you want to decorate your balloons. I found these little skeletons in the dollar store and thought they'd be perfect just to add on to our balloons. Then you'll want to set up the area for the race. To do this, you'll want at least two chairs, and if you're racing against each other, then you'll need four. I feel like we don't go shh and zip right across them. The first thing you'll do is blow up your balloon or get help if you're like me and my kids and cannot blow up a balloon. Then you're going to want to clip the balloon with your clip and then attach any decorations that you had, whether it's the skeletons, you could even put like cobweb stuff on it and make it more like spiders, anything to have fun with it. So you'll tape that on and then you'll want to tape your straw across the top. Now make sure you tape these going the right direction. At first we put the straw up on top, but you want to make sure it's long ways. Then you'll want to thread your string through your straw and attach it to both ends of the chair. We weren't sure exactly how far these would go, so to start off with, we just attached the string to the other two chairs using these clamps. That way, we left plenty of string that we can move the chairs out and make the distance farther. So we are gonna have a skeleton balloon race. So what you're gonna do is let go of your balloons, you're gonna let go of the clips, and we're gonna see which one gets to the end first. Okay. One, two, Three, go! Two, three, go! <laughs> Two, three, go! A tie! One, two, three, go! Oh. A tie! Isaac Newton's second law was every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The balloon's air went this way, but the balloon went this way. Once the girls learned how to actually get their balloons to go, they had so much fun. Even when Emily ran interference there, they had a blast with this experiment. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to check out the rest of our playlist for the Halloween STEM activity series. Thanks everyone, bye.